Hello viewers, on today's edition of the program, we shall be covering the top most dangerous airports in the world. Although flying is one of the safest means of travel, many passengers suffer from the fear of flying, including myself. That said, some airport approaches are a lot more challenging than others and can turn into a terrifying experience that makes the bravest frequent flyers grip their armrests. From mountain ranges and oceans to less than half a mile runways, here are 10 of the most dangerous airports in the world, where landing and taking off requires extreme precision and massive pilot skill. Before we dive into the list, if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our updates. Number 10. Wellington International Airport, New Zealand Formerly known as Rongotai Airport, is an international airport located at the suburb of Rongotai in Wellington, the capital of New Zealand. Serving over 6 million passengers a year, Wellington International Airport is the third busiest airport in the country, after Auckland and Christchurch. It features a single 6,827 feet runway that appears to start and end in the ocean. The airport has a reputation of sometimes rough and turbulent landings, even in larger aircraft, due to the channeling effect of Cook Strait creating strong and gusty wind, especially in northwesterly condition. This makes it extremely difficult for pilots to maneuver landings and can sometimes turn flying into a hair racing experience for passengers. Number 9. Gibraltar International Airport, British Overseas Territory Gibraltar International Airport or North Front Airport is the civilian airport that serves the British Overseas Territory of Gibraltar. The airport handles over 500,000 passengers and over 300,000 kilograms of cargo on a 4,888 total flight yearly. The runway at Gibraltar's airport crosses the main road in and out of the British Overseas Territory and consequently, traffic has to be closed every time the plane lands or departs. The resultant traffic jams has led to the construction of a tunnel under the runway, but the project has been plagued by delay and it's still not complete. However, the highway crossing isn't the main issue for pilots. It's the strong turbulence and wind shear around the rock of Gibraltar and across the Bay of Algeciras that makes landing here a challenging affair and particularly uncomfortable. Diversion and go around are common, especially in winter. Number 8. Princess Juliana Airport, St. Martin. The notorious Princess Juliana Airport on the Caribbean island of St. Martin is famous around the world for its low landing over the ocean. Owing to one of its single 7,546 feet long runway being extremely close to the shore. The proximity of Maho Beach to the runway has made the airport one of the world's most favorite places for a perfect snapshot, as the landing jet appeared to be just feet above the head of the public just before touchdown, while takeoff creates huge gusts of winds and sand for sunbathers. It's not without danger though. In 2017, a New Zealand woman died from injuries sustained by jet blasts from a departing aircraft. Number 7. Nassau Airport, Greenland One of the two airports in Greenland capable of saving a large airlines, Nassau Airport is located in Tonulia Fig Fjord on the country's southern tip. The airport was built in 1941 by the USA Ministry of Defense. Pilot must deal with strong winds, severe turbulence and wind shear in the mountainous landscape even on the calmest days of the year, before they get sight of the relatively short 6,000 feet runway. While the high winds in the fjords is a major challenge for pilots, a nearby volcano can even more be a headache. When it erupts, its volcanic arch contains very small particles of glass, silica from melting ice that can damage aircraft engines. Number 
6. Tonkantin Airport, Honduras The approach to Tonkantin Airport, located near the capital of Honduras, has long been considered to be one of the most dangerous in the world, especially in inclement weather condition. The mountainous terrain surrounding the small airport forces pilots to make a dramatic approach that's anything but head-on. With a steep descent and a sharp turn proud to lining up with the runway, it's also one of the world's deadliest airports. In 1989, a Boeing commercial plane crashed into a mountainous site on approach, killing 132 people. At least, five more planes have since followed suit and crashed in or around the airport. A new airport is currently being constructed in Komoyagwa to replace Don Canteen International Airport. Number 5. Madeira International Airport, Portugal Madeira International Airport, Cristiano Ronaldo, formerly known as Funchal Airport, on the Portuguese archipelago of Madeira in the Atlantic Ocean, is considered one of the most dangerous airports in the world due to its spectacular construction. The original runway was only 5,249 feet long, but was extended to 9,124 feet after a fatal plane crash in 1977. 164 people died when a Boeing 727 fell off the end of the runway into the beach below. The runway extension is supported by 180 columns partly over the ocean, which have to withstand serious shock loading during landings. The airport is also dangerous due to strong winds, high mountains on one side and the ocean on the other. Pilots must undergo additional training to land at the airport. Number 4. Tenzing Hillary Airport, Nepal Tenzing Hillary Airport, also known as Lokla Airport in Nepal, is the prime airport for anyone who is visiting Mount Everest. The runway is surrounded on all sides by steep Himalayan terrain, with a mountain shelf on one side and steep drop into the valley below on the other side. The airport runway is extremely short at just 1,729 feet long, although it also slopes uphill with a gradient of almost 12%, which helps planes to slow down in time. To make matters worse, there is no go-around procedure because of the surrounding mountains. Given this fact, only helicopters and small fixed wing propellers planes are permitted to land. In 1973, there have been several accidents on the airplane that resulted in many deaths and injuries. Number 3. Couchevel Airport, France While the airport at Lugla has a dangerously short runway of only 1,729 feet, the one at Couchevel Airport is even shorter at 1,722 feet. This airport which served the exclusive ski resort of Couchevel in France Alps, drop off in the cliff as well. So pilots need to make sure they gain enough speed for takeoff if they don't want to fall off the cliff's edge. The runway also has a downward gradient of 18.16%, which further complicates takeoff and landing. Moreover, on approach or during takeoff, pilots have to maneuver their craft between the Alps without instrument procedures. The only clear guideline is a no-go round due to the surrounding mountains. Number 2. Wancho E. Irosquin Airport, Sabah Island Wancho E. Irosquin Airport is located approximately 45 km south of St. Martin on the minuscule Dutch Caribbean island of Sabah, also known as the original King Kong movie island. With a runway of only 1,300 feet in total length, this makes it the world's shortest commercial airport runway. The airport is weighed on a rocky outcrop at the foot of a mountain, with jack terrain on one side and cliff dropping into the sea at the other end of the runway. So, any landing here is a nerve-wracking challenge. Although the airport is close to jet traffic, regional airline propeller aircraft are able to land there under waivers from the Netherlands Antile Civil Aviation Authority. Number 1. Paro International Airport, Bhutan Paro is Bhutan's sole international airport. The tiny airport is nestled in the deep valley and surrounded by sharp peaks of up to 18,000 feet tall. Strong winds whip through the valley, often resulting in severe turbulence. Considered the most dangerous airport in the world, flights are only allowed during the daytime and under visual meteorological conditions in which the pilot make their judgment by eye rather than relying on aircraft instruments. The dramatic approach to the runway is completely out of sight for the pilot until the last minute as they maneuver between mountains at a 45 degree angle before dropping quickly onto the runway. 
Only a limited number of pilots are authorized to land at Paro. There you have it. Do let us know in the comment section below which top 10 topics you would like us to cover next. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.